Welcome to ECE 321 Analog Electronics. This is the continuation of ECE 320 Digital Electronics, which is offered week 1 to 10. Analog Electronics is offered week 11 to 16. Now to give a little bit of background, ECE 320 Digital Electronics deals with the circuits where the output is binary, either true or false, either 0 volts or 5 volts. In 320, when we had transistor circuits, typically the transistors were either saturated or off. We needed that because to use something like a transistor switch, I can set up the switch so that 5 volts, the switch is saturated, 0 volts, the switch is off. I need those binary levels. And the topics we cover in 320 were things like uh, transistor switches, H bridges, diodes, AC to DC converters, and so on. In this class, ECE 321 Analog Electronics, we have analog outputs. Typically, the voltage will be something like minus 10 to plus 10 volts continuous. Here, transistors will be operating the active region, and the topics we'll be covering will be amplifiers, mixers, power amplifiers, sensors, filters, and so on. Uh, for example, by the end of this class, you should be able to take a small signal, say from your cell phone, amplify it to plus minus 10 uh, volts, filter it so that you can pass frequencies below 250 hertz, say to build a subwoofer, Mix it with the original signal so you can amplify the bass and hear the original signal, then crank up the power to drive a speaker to, a to annoy your friends and neighbors. Um, overall, this is a fairly fun course. By the end of the semester, you'll be able to do things like, we mentioned before, build a subwoofer. You could build an octolively. An octolively is in the cabinets in the ECE building. As you wave your hand in front of the octolively, it senses the shadow and has the LEDs turn on and off, flickering based upon the light levels. You can build an AQ piano where the output is a sinusoid rather than a square wave. Uh, you can build a temperature controlled fan. If you go to Bison Academy under electronics, under best of 320, you've got quite a few different things you can look at. Oops, I don't have the internet connected. Um, some of the uh, sample projects from previous semesters. Uh, the syllabus for 321 is the first week we'll be covering op amps and mixers. Uh, with that, I can take two signals, add them together. Week two, we'll be looking at sensors and instrumentation amplifiers. Weeks three and four, building filters, high pass filters, low pass filters, band pass filters how to analyze the filter, and implement them using an op-amp circuit. And the last two weeks we'll be looking at transistor amplifiers, building an amplifier with a single transistor. Again, everything is online on Bison Academy. Here we've got the syllabus, the lecture notes, homework sets, this we're down here for 321, homework sets, uh, sample videos, which I'm working on right now, homeworks, and eventually solutions. For the course information, um, I'm the instructor course, Jake Lauer. The class this semester is online due to the coronavirus. Labs, we'll be doing labs a little bit different this semester. Um, because of NDCU being closed, or not open, or whatever the correct terminology is, uh, the labs will be done using Circuit Lab. We'll be using simulations for the labs rather than actually building them. Uh, if you want to log into Circuit Lab, we have a university license for Circuit Lab. Just use your university email address to get access to Circuit Lab. It's already paid for. Um, office hours, I'm usually at my computer between 8 a.m. to noon, open for questions. You can Skype me, email me, uh, whatever works for you. The textbook, Microelectronic Circuits, is a good textbook, fairly cheap on Amazon. The edition doesn't matter. And, of course, the website, Bison Academy. Google's Electronic Tutorials also works very well. Um, again, the objective of the course is by the end of the semester, you can analyze or design a circuit to put a transistor in the active region, analyze transistor circuits with analog inputs and outputs, analyze filters to meet some design requirements, and design an op-amp circuit with analog inputs and analog outputs. Uh, requirements, uh, calculated does complex numbers, is definitely useful. Access to the internet, um, so you can have access to Circuit Lab, and the ability to make videos, preferably on posted on YouTube. The grading in this class 
is because we are doing everything in simulation, there's no term project this semester. The grade will be based upon your weekly quizzes, homeworks, and final exam. With grading being on a straight scale, if you have a 90%, guaranteed you got an A. Uh, the homework, the homework is due on Mondays usually. Homework turned in after the solutions are posted won't be graded. Um, again, I'll post the solutions usually by on Wednesday morning. So try to get the homeworks in. Helps me with grading them. Also note that the lab reports are just part of the homework. There is no separate lab write-up. On some of the problems, we'll have design a circuit, now simulated in circuit lab to see if your calculations are correct. Uh, the final exam will be Thursday, May 14th, the take home exam. Again, it'll be from 8 a.m. until midnight on that date. And lab access and lab times doesn't really apply since we're doing everything in simulation. And legal stuff. So again, that's ECE 321. Welcome to the class and look forward to working with you this semester.